First thoughts on the Hyger HG957. All right, so this is the Hyger Auto On, Auto Off LED Aquarium Light with the extendable brackets. Now, the thing I like about this is it does have a built-in timer, so you don't have to worry about hooking it up to a timer. Like, all my other lights are on, like the old school timers where you set the time by turning it, flip the little tabs up, kill your fingers doing it, and you know, set it when you want it on and off. This one is fully programmable. It's got a day cycle and a night cycle, so if you want, you can have a low blue light on during the night, you know, I think it's supposed to simulate the moon. I think that's the, you know, thing behind it. Um, the other cool thing about this one is it does have several different lights in it. You can go full spectrum, so you got your white light, blue light, green light, red light in there, or you can do all red, all blue, all fuchsia, all green, all light blue, and all yellow. Those are other color options, so if you wanted to like, do some mood lighting, with your fish room at some point, and you're having a little party and you want to do some mood lighting, there you go, you could do that with it. So, you know, you set the time the way you want it, you put an on time and an off time, you just gotta double press the cog, and you know it goes to what you need it to do. You'll notice on the bottom, it, you know, it'll say day L, which is daylight. The right hand side's gonna say ML, which is moonlight. I have it off because I don't want it. It's also got a 12 and 24 hour setting, so if you want to do standard 12 hour or military time. Personally, I went with military time just so I don't have to worry about putting the wrong time. I actually had my times reversed for a little while, so I was getting the light staying on way longer than it should have. Or turning on at 10.30 at night versus 10.30 in the morning. It was a little, a little crazy. Now. There are, you can also set the percentage of light. So you can do a super low 10% intensity and it goes up in intervals of 10. So you can go 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 50. And it uses a standard little adapter for the light. Like all your other aquarium lights, if you're using a simple LED, the little plug and play thing. So you plug them in, it is good to go. Now, this light was way brighter than my other one comparatively so I will throw a clip up here so you can see you know the difference I was before just using a simple top fin light from PetSmart so nothing overly crazy it was enough to grow some minimal plants but nothing didn't require too much light so I put it on my 10 gallon and you will see the difference in light here versus top fin lights versus an actual LED light for an aquarium and if you just want to turn it on and off on your own, you can just push that little uh, little light button there, and it works just as well. Yeah, you're about to go blind here, but I'm going to show you the different color spectrum here. We're going to go through the whole thing so you can see it here. We've got blue, green, fuchsia, light blue, and then of course the yellow. And it does go back to white, full spectrum there, so you, know, you got your whites, greens, blues, reds in there, all lights in the spectrum that your plants will need. Now the actual, this is coming straight from their website, here there are 62 RGB lights, you got 140 white lights, you got 23 blues, 12 reds, and 11 greens. That is when it's on the 72 watt full spectrum. So it's got 2,835 LED bulbs plus 5,050 RGB bulbs in there. They are a water resistant coating. So, you know, if they get splashed on them, they're okay. They are not waterproof though, so these lights cannot be submerged. If they do, unplug it, dry it off, you're good to go. Now, I like the brackets because you have a lower one and a higher one. So there's a little seat where you can sit it on the edge of your tank or you can have it up a little higher. I tried to put mine up a little higher, see how my redwood floaters would take to it. And now you can see the uh, the intensity here. It's just on, and it's much brighter on the bottom here. And this is how it sits on top of my tank. And here you go, you can see how nice and bright the light is on these. Now this was taken about a week after use. The floaters in this tank have probably doubled in size now. 
definitely doing much more off shooting. I can actually see inside the tank now. Uh, when the other light was on there, you probably noticed it was extremely dim. So this is a light that's it's really not that expensive either. Uh, the cost of this light, this is the 12 to 18 inch light, it's only going to cost you 32 bucks. Which if you want to do a slight upgrade and not go crazy, uh, I would definitely highly recommend this. Now, I'm going to come back probably in the 8 month mark and just do a more in-depth review. I just wanted to give you guys my first initial thoughts on the Hyger light here. Again, this is the Hyger HG95. 720 watt auto on light here 12 to 18 inches because you can move those brackets you can see you know it sits nicely on top of the tank yeah those plants have grown double in size now they're taking up about half this tank it's just nice to actually be able to see into my aquarium versus where it was super dim and I could not see and the best part hi I'm back ah. The best part about this is if you want to get one of these lights, you can use a discount code that Hygr was nice enough to give me. You can get 15% off this light by putting in code LEFTY3213A on their website at checkout. There's also going to be a link down in the description where you can click on and go straight to it. Uh, again, I do recommend these lights. I've been using it now for, they sent it to me, let's say beginning of February, last week in January, so I've had it about a month month and a half now love the results so far so when i have a more in-depth review in about the eight month mark maybe even a year mark definitely going to uh, show you the before and after of those red roof floaters because i'm seeing a more intense light coming out of them or more intense red rather so again if you're in the market for a while well, say budget light and you want something slightly better than a top fin just regular crappy diode because mine was only six diodes in my top fin as you probably saw definitely would recommend this one they have other brands or other versions i'll be testing those at some point but this is just for this auto on auto off one love the fact that it's got that i haven't utilized the moon setting myself but i might at some point give it a try i need a pitch black room to sleep in so that's why i haven't actually used it so if you're in the market i would say get one they're not going to be too expensive you got that 15 percent off code thank you Hyger. For that, thank you, Hager, for sending this light to me to test out. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you've used these lights, what your opinion of these bracketed lights are, because I've never actually used them before. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, think about uh, hitting that sub button. Maybe if you like reviews and fish profiles and stuff of that nature, doing a lot of that stuff on this channel. And leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. If you didn't, hit the dislike so I know you guys don't like product reviews. And I'll never do another one. Anyway. I hope you guys had a good day, and I'll see you in the next one.